So I'm out here today working on my not incredibly great Lexus LS400 and I've got a bit of a dead battery. I'm gonna show you a quick tip so that you can get a charge in it even when your battery charger thinks that you can't. So I've got the battery charger here, hook up positive. Now it's saying 0.6 volts and it's basically saying there's no battery here. Sometimes, even when it's around three or four volts, it'll still try the high frequency charge. It'll try and try for like 30 minutes and then cut out. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how you can actually get this thing to recognize the battery, give it a charge and make it last. All right, what I've got here, I've got a lithium jump pack. Go ahead and hook this thing up. Tell it to turn on and then we'll start the car. With the car running, I'm gonna take the jump pack off. Now I'm gonna let it sit and run here for about two minutes. I'll be right back. All right, I've been running this thing for about two minutes now. You can tell the alternator is working. I'm at 14 volts. Battery should be, you know, 12.6, 12.7. I'm gonna shut the car off, and then we only have a few seconds to work. Car's off. I'm gonna come back here. My voltmeter showing we're at 12.4, but it's kind of going down. So what we're gonna do, let's get the battery charger on it real quick. There we go, 12.2, it's gonna pop up here and it's charging. Now this charger doesn't really put out a lot of amperage. It says four amps right here, and it kind of does it low, and it bounces back and forth, but it's an automatic thing. It kind of does that to condition the battery, which is not a bad thing at all. But this is going to take a good day or so. I will check back tomorrow. Everything should be green. Should say we have 12 volts, and we should be able to start the car unassisted. And this battery will last as long as I don't do something stupid, like leave the trunk open for a week, which leaves the light on and drains the battery just for example. So now it is the next afternoon and this thing is saying it's a good 13 volts. It's green, saying everything's good to go. We're done charging and it's back to normal. Now a quick check with the voltmeter. No battery charger on it, no jump pack on it. Let's see if this thing will start. There we go, easy peasy. This battery is fully restored. All right, well, there we go, folks. That was a super quick tech tip on how to get a battery to hold a charge with an automatic charger, or at least begin to charge, so that you can either make it another couple of months on that battery or get another battery, or maybe just wing it and send that sucker until it dies, which is what I'm gonna do. But that's all I got today. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.